guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. September 23rd and it's a beautiful harvest moon right now. So I'm going to be doing a quick um, twin flame reading here. I got my cards and the Osho Zen. So um, I don't think I'm going to do the extended part tonight. I will probably do it for tomorrow. Um, so this is going to be for the 24th until the October the 1st. So I'm going to pull the cards first. Okay, so the feminine has the four of cups. So this is all about turning in, um, quieting the voices, um, listening to your inner voice. But this card usually represents withdraw, disconnect, feeling, you know, like you've lost somebody um, or losing someone, like things have gone stagnant. Okay, so for the masculine side, we have the Seven of Swords, politics. So this is both in the past position. So politics is, you know, not being able to trust, listening to these voices in your head, feeling like somebody is betraying you. So this is a thing of the past. Now this could also be the masculine wearing a mask as well. Okay, so the present position for the feminine Transformation, the death card. That's beautiful to see. You know, the lotus sitting on, or sorry, the the spirit sitting on the lotus flower, realizing their existence in the cosmos, being reborn from you know from this emotional turmoil, letting it go. Masculine present. The Nine of Wands, exhaustion. So he feels like a wounded warrior, like he's been trapped. Um, you know, caught in the machine, um, feeling, you know, like you're, you're working day in, day out, um, and you don't have much more to give, but the message of this card is that you do at the core of who you are you have the strength to keep going you know finish whatever tasks that you need to to finish but the masculine's feeling very exhausted um, he's just tired of people tired of responsibilities near future for the feminine is the queen of pentacles flowering again sitting on that lotus flower uh, so this card is about growth, um, sharing your abundance, um, spreading your seeds to all. Very cool. You know, same pose, same um, connection with source, with spirit. But you know, and here we have the same, you know, kind of sitting in that same position. Um, but there's this ascension that's being displayed here. Okay, so the masculine near future growth, or sorry, courage. Awesome. So from that feeling of exhaustion, there's growth also. Um, you know, he has the courage, the strength to grow. Um, you know, in less hospitable places, like that wall. So he's breaking down the barriers. So um, before I go to the final outcome, let's see what the feminine is bringing into the union. Totality. So this is being in the moment, you know, being conscious, aware, um, but also trusting that if you, you know, 
reach out to somebody or if you need help, they're there to catch you on the other side. So there's this trusting acceptance and awareness in this card for the masculine it's the five of, of swords comparison so this card has been showing up a lot lately and it reminds me of that song nothing compares to you I did that little lip syncing thing too um, so what I see here is Maybe he's comparing himself to the feminine, or he realizes, you know, there's nothing out there that compares to her. Um, yeah, he's he seems to be locked in this negative energy, and he sees his reflection in the feminine. Um, and it helps him to love himself. Okay, the foundation... Seven of Pentacles is patience. So there's been a period of, you know, waiting for your manifestation to arise, um, being acceptance of the fact that you have to wait. So during that period, you're contemplating, you're thinking about where you made mistakes, where you can avoid making mistakes in the future, you know, you're, you're wondering if your investments are sound or secure or worth it. All right, so there's been a pause. And there's that position or stance, you know, that the feminine has been taking. Very peaceful. Um, in a very meditative state. Her eyes are open after the transformation, which is very cool. Uh, yeah, so it's almost like this patience, you know, is the foundation, and this patience seems to be reflective on the feminine side. The masculine feels that energy, and it's allowing him to transform and to grow as well definitely a mirroring happening so for the crowning energy it's the knight of wands intensity so both aspects want movement they want to follow their passion they want to go after their dreams they want to finish you know cross the finish line now the five of wands also represents challenges obstacles having the confidence to overcome so the feminine wants to be the knight of wands um, overcome move forward uh, the masculine also feels that energy you know they he they feel stuck right now the five of swords I just noticed there's two fives here but the five of swords is also about finger pointing, negative thoughts, negative energy, and we see it coming from the past and can kind of consuming him as well. But thankfully, both aspects are coming out of that, being reborn into this, um, you know, it's like the feminine's seeding, sending seeds out, and the seeds are taking root on the, the masculine side. Okay, so at the heart is the Four of Swords, postponement. So what I'm seeing here is almost like the masculine is looking at the feminine, feeling locked out, feeling, um, you know, that there's this life outside that he can't be a part of. You know, he's the one that's feeling trapped, right, in the machine. And it's because of thoughts comparing himself to others. Um, feeling that he's not worth it, worthy, I don't know. Um, but this is at the heart and it's shared between both aspects. So there's a sense that the feminine is kind of reaching out. Or has that gate open and 
it's almost like the masculine is considering taking taking that hand or do you know what I mean okay so the final outcome for the feminine is the queen of swords more morality so another um, you know forward facing position however instead of the hands being pointed towards the heaven in this openness kind of gesture it's it they're pointed down to the ground to the physical um, you know and and her head is in the clouds so this card talks about morality about you know w judgment what you perceive to be the correct way to behave uh, so as a final outcome this could mean that the feminine makes a decision comes to a conclusion um, she could also communicate something a truth so I'm just gonna pull one card from my deck So the whole deck is upside down. Okay, so the tower, house of cards. So it's a sudden realization, um, you know, it comes in like a bolt of lightning, tears down any illusions. So one more card, I think. The magician. So this is awareness, consciousness. So there, there could be some communication from possibly an air sign that is a life-changing kind of moment. Um, illusions are torn down, and there is a new beginning from that destruction. We got the the magician, which is a brand new beginning <clears throat> it's awareness it's focus attention to create a new reality you know the house of cards tore down the illusion and now there's crystal clarity so i think what the queen of swords is presenting is this clarity this mental clarity this standing in her truth and realizing how strong she is Okay, so for the masculine, nice, the Ten of Cups Harmony, that's beautiful. So from that, you know, feeling trapped and lost in the mind and then, you know, growing, he reaches a state of absolute harmony. Look at that, look at the face. Mere reflection. So this is the Ten of Cups, it's a happily ever after. All right, and so, sorry, the bottom of the deck. Moment to mo moment, the two of pentacles. So finding balance, stepping lightly, feeling your 3D reality transforming. Um, but, you know, really it's all about finding balance in a changing world, and that's exactly what we're seeing here. The feminine is definitely transforming and changing but it's an inner change um, and then she goes from the inside and becomes this flowering queen times two giving making major realizations and discovering her power of manifestation okay and so yeah on the masculine side again a transformation from the mind, feeling exhausted. You know, it's almost like that's the same face in the machine. You know, so it's masculine energy. All of these cards are masculine, right? Even the one at the top. And there's masculine, well, no, I think it's a woman that's in the middle here, but um, I get the feeling that this energy is looking towards the feminine who is reaching out. All right, so there's a definite sadness, uh, disconnect being felt on both sides as well.
Okay, so I went and grabbed my uh, Romance Angel cards, Oracle cards, um, by Dorian Virtue. So I'm just going to pull two cards here and I'll read them for a final message. So we have separation, time apart for your partners on the horizon. Um, so I usually pick for the feminine first and for the masculine. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay, so let me just pause for a second and I'll read them. Okay, so separation. The ram romance angels are helping you during this period of separation from your partner. This card comes to you as an indication of angelic support as you spend time away from each other. While you're apart, the angels can help you find your... Um, help you fill your hours with healthy activities which will help your present or future relationships this card may indicate a temporary period of aloneness such um, as while uh, while your partner is traveling for business or a time in your life when you're single and preparing for a next relationship it could also mean uh, marital separation or divorce. Call upon your angels for support and guidance during these transitions. This can help you discover the deep healing to be mined as you spend time alone, which prepares you for your next part of your relationship journey. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here is that pause, that time alone. We see a disconnect here as well. All right, and so during that time, we see the feminine flowering, all right, illusions coming down. Beautiful. Okay, so for the masculine, okay, so the masculine got new love. So the romance angels have sent you this card like a Valentine greeting, signaling the introduction of someone new in your life. Perhaps you've recently met this person and your interest has been piqued. Um, this card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It is safe for you to explore it. And the Romance Angels will guide your actions accordingly. Of course, if you're already in a committed relationship, you'll want to con consult your angels and perhaps a counselor or, or other trusted persons to get insight from your feelings. While Running into the arms of a suitor may sound passionate. The reality of, of guilt over the affair will soon weigh heavily upon you. It's better to confront the issue within your present relationship um, that left you emotional that you left your emotional doors open for someone else. This card can also mean that you'll meet someone new. In these cases, the romance angels are asking you to keep the faith that love is in your cards. You deserve love and you're lovable. The angels guide you to be aware as you never know when your partner will arrive. Okay, so for the masculine, we have this, what I'm feeling is a renewed sense of love, especially with the 10 of cups as a final outcome. There's this opening, the seed growing and flourishing into the Ten of Cups. So I'm, you know, I'm really feeling he's been closed off and then opening up. All right, so I do hope this helps. Any mess of love. Cheers.